welcome back. Well, got this package in the mail. This is actually a Macari pickup for the DS system, the cont for the games. This was actually about 20 games, I think, for about 25 bucks. So they're not big name titles, but for this price, for 25 bucks, they're like a dollar something each. It's it's nuts. So for this, I'm excited to get this and add to the collection. The collection was really small, but actually now it's uh, pretty big. I put it up upstairs. It's it's getting there, man. It's getting close to 100 already DS games in a short period of time, like a month maybe. So when it comes to these games, they're not expensive for the, the I guess you could, the filler titles. So this is the perfect time to get it before the prices go up on these filler titles. It's kind of like every other system too, like N64, even the like not really good games are actually going for good money nowadays. So best time to pick up for the handheld is right now for the DS while the prices are still low, but let's get this open together and see what we got inside, all right? So, we pop this and hopefully I don't cut myself. Uh, I'm prone to cutting myself because I have no feeling in my hands here, so I'm gonna pull this all together here, and it is a struggle already to get this stuff out, so at least he taped it up really well, and we'll see what we got here, so. Trying not to damage anything here. There you go, that side is done. Well, I tell you that, he packaged it really well, so for 25 bucks, even the packing is good, so happy to have this here. So, let's see the bundle here. Oh, he packed it up really well, I guess you could say. So, yeah, whole bunch of newspaper material here. Let's see here. Dang, then he put it even in another package, so let's see what we got here. Right. Oh, there we go. I'll just peel it to the side and we'll go one by one on this. So, we pop this over here. There you go. And first game we see here is Learn Math for the DS. And it, this one is complete game case and cartridge. So, first one, one. Second one is Jonas Brothers. And it's complete and actually has a second game in there. So, we see this one is. And this one is Moshi, like Moshi, Moshling's theme park. So it's kind of hard to tell to see right there. There you go. There you go. And Jonas Brothers complete with game case and manual. So that might be one of the loose games that I had with it. So he just shoved it in one of them. Next is Drake and Josh Talent Showdown for the DS. Like I said, a lot of filler titles, but for the price, these are like a dollar something each. Even at Goodwills and stuff like this, this sells for like two, three dollars for uh, DS games. Even at like a Video game stores, two, three bucks, four bucks each. So in the end, just buying it in bulk and picking it up like this will save you a lot of money. So the next one is Backyard Sports Rookie Rush. There you go. By Atari, I guess. Complete game cases and manual. Next one is High School Musical Making the Cut, Disney. And it's game case and manual. Because even for these cases, they're hard to find. A lot of people throw them away. It kind of sucks. I think I have this one already. Brain Age, Train Your Brain, Minutes a Day, Complete Game Case and Manual. There you go. Next up is Super Scribble Nuts. I don't have this one, of course. And it's Game Case and Manual. This one has some damage on the back. I think one or two, the Jonas Brothers had some water damage on the sheet. Not really too worried about it since it's a filler title. The higher price games, I'd rather have in good condition. Next up is Nintendo's DS Ultimate Game Room. I actually like these kind of games, these mini games, kind of like a... Wii Sports and all that stuff, they're really fun to play, so I, I wouldn't mind playing this one, actually. So, game room there, complete game, case, and manual. Next up, this one's a good one. So, Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars, for the DS again, of course. And it's game, case, and manual there. There you go. Next one up is Nintendo's DS Aquarium by, D's, by DS. <laughs> and game, case, and manual. Kind of reminds me of Seaman almost, like from the Dreamcast, but it looks like it's similar, but not similar. I guess you can't talk to it. You attach it and, I guess, feed the fish. Looks pretty interesting. Next up is Cl uh, Club Penguin, uh, Elite Penguin Force. And let's see if it is complete game case and manual. There you go. Really good condition. Next up is Pets Hamster Superstars. I might have this one. I might not, so we'll see what it is, so... Game, case, and manual complete. Then next one up is Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. I'd play this one too as well. I actually like this movie a lot. And the sequel was really good too. So game, case, 
and manual. This one has the advanced cartridge holder there too. Zoe 101 Field Trip Fiasco, complete game case and manual. It's in there behind this sheet, so yep, complete. There you go. So man, this DS collection is going big. I already have this game, the Spiderwick Chronicles. Like I said, it doesn't matter if you get doubles on that. You can kind of make your money back like selling these three or four bucks each online to Macari or somewhere else or eBay. So for the price, can't beat it. So game case and manual. And I checked to see which one's better quality condition. I'll keep that one for the collection. Next up is Major League Baseball 2K11 for the DS. Complete game case and manual. And yeah, the little extra games were the ones that were loose. So Assassin's Creed there for the DS. And of course, again, Major League Baseball 2K11 complete game case and manual. Next up is Touch Masters 23 games in all. I'd play this one again too. Like I said, I like these kind of stylish kind of style games. So game case and manual complete. And these usually do well for replayability with those kind of games. And two more to go, which is Nickelodeon Nicktoons MLB complete. Oh shoot, even has the playing cards in there too as well. So sealed playing cards in there with the game case and manual complete. So that's pretty nice. So something fully complete with the inserts still in there, the tops cards inside. That's that's neat. That's pretty cool. So happy to have that one. That's pretty exciting to have too as well. So happy to have that to the collection. And I don't have to worry about finding that insert later on in the future. And last but not least, a Nintendo DS Prince of Persia for Forgotten Sands. And this is complete game case yeah the manuals in the back there too so game case and manual so overall for all this stuff let me see again the count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty 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 one 21 games so he said 20 games so i actually got 21 so it looks like this one i didn't see on the listing came in for free too as well so happy with the pickup for like i said i think it was 20 25 bucks can't beat that look that's crazy to add to a collection really quickly so when it comes down to it if you're trying to build your collection fast look for those bulk deals for low items and you do the math you you check out each one and see how much they cost on uh, price chartings other places too online see what Macari selling at Amazon eBay selling it for then what you do is you just factor in how much it's gonna cost you each per cartridge um, basically each game cost so like I said this is like a dollar or less than two dollars each compared to going to store picking these one by one from goodwill amazon ebay in a bulk deal try to get those bulk deals it's really worth it in the long run so again thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one take care